We just spent some time in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we are high on Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way you're thinking. <laughs> Seriously though, the altitude was not the only reason why we had our breath taken away. Colorado had some unbelievable, beautiful places to see. To me, it was right out of a dream. Yeah, Colorado Springs is definitely something you want to add to your bucket list. Definitely. We actually started our visit to Colorado Springs in Fountain, Colorado, which is about 10 miles south of Colorado Springs. And we did stay at a KOA. I really enjoyed it. I think we both enjoyed it. They had a lot of activities for the kids. We were there during Halloween season. They had some hay rides and things like yeah, that for the kids. Cute. It was, yeah. There's a nice little river on the back side of the RV park. Now, there was some construction going on while we were there. So I think they're expanding. Quite and, a bit of construction. Yeah, and adding some new cabins. Yeah. So during the day, there was definitely some construction noise and traffic inside the park. Now also at nighttime, you're right on Interstate 25. Right. So there's definitely highway traffic at nighttime. Yeah. Not enough that it really bothered us too bad. I'd definitely go back again. I, yeah. Everybody was friendly and we had a really good time. Mm -hmm. Now due to some scheduling issues, we had to go to another RV park. We went up into Colorado Springs to an RV park called Foot of the Rockies great location as far as um, if you want to get Garden of the Gods, Pikes Peak, um, was uh, Red, Red Rock, Rock Canyon. Canyon. Great right. location for that. However, probably not the best part of town. No, um, it really wasn't. Sad and the, to say. Yeah, and the park really does need some TLC. A lot of TLC. So we probably wouldn't go back there again. No, I don't think we'll be going back there. <laughs> Once we got settled into the new RV park, we had some extra time to kill, so we decided to go to Pikes Peak. Now, one of the mistakes that we made is we went late in the day. Yeah. We didn't get there till about two o'clock in the afternoon. We had to sit in line for about a, a good half hour. They do charge $15 per person to get into up to Pikes Peak. And I believe if you have more than five people, they charge by the car load. Right. There's a little bit, little bit of a discount for that. It does take about, I think it took us about a half an hour to get to the to the summit. Now you are over 14,000, I believe it's 14,110 feet. Be prepared to suck for some <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> it was, you, you really notice that when you walk around, you, you climb up a little hill or something, you really yeah. notice the lack of oxygen. Yeah, but so beautiful. We picked the perfect day. Yeah. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Right. The temperature at the summit was probably low 50s, I believe it was, maybe upper 40s. Not very breezy at all, so it's just a just a beautiful, beautiful day. If you did want to spend some time on the summit, or even just on your way up or way down, there's a lot of places to pull over and go for little short hikes and beautiful views. I would definitely get there earlier in the day. You'd probably save some time waiting in line. Yeah. And they they're really strict on getting you off that summit by 4 p.m. Oh yeah, they come around and tell you. Yeah, <laughs> at least this time of year. I yeah. believe it was weather related or just the time of year. They're afraid of. Uh, like maybe snow or something coming yeah, in or well, bad weather. There was weather. snow on the ground. Rodeo yeah, got her first yeah, snow. Yeah. Don't eat the yellow yeah, snow. That's rodeo. <laughs> oh yeah, not us. <laughs> yeah, not us. <laughs> anyway, Pikes Peak, great place to visit. You could probably spend a half a day there, and oh, it, yeah. it'd be plenty. Of, it'd be plenty of time, yeah. just a little short hikes, and enjoy it. But great, great place to see. Really pretty, unbelievable. Starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming, we'll keep running Nothing in our way And we got no reason to wait Let the journey take you where it wants to We'll continue to find our way through Anything we face We got what it takes Here we go
begins Every step Writing stories that seek to be read Taking hold of the moment as we discover Every color filled with wonder Now we finally see We got everything we need Here we go After spending some time at over 14,000 feet at Pikes Peak, we decided to take it a little bit easier, go for a nice short hike at Red Rock Canyon, just west of Colorado Springs. We thought it was gonna be easier. True, <laughs> we thought it was gonna be easier. I either misread the map or something. We really thought it was gonna be about a two and a half mile hike, or two and a half mile hike turned out to be a, just over a five mile hike. <laughs> yeah, and we had Rodeo with us, and yeah. we don't usually- We don't like taking her on- No, usually not more, more than two. Now we did take the Mesa Trail heading out, and that's all uphill. You're, I believe it's about a mile and a half long, and it's a constant uphill. Not very steep, but you, you definitely yeah. know. And you're about 6,500 feet, so there's, you're sucking for air anyway, sucking for yeah. oxygen. Now on the way back, we took the Green Lee Trail, and this was, again, mostly downhill now. We both really enjoyed this yeah, trail. Yeah, it was a lot prettier. Yeah, the Mesa Trail going out was kind of really just like a wide sidewalk. Yeah. You know, it was kind of basic. Other than the elevation, yeah. yeah. The Green Lee Trail coming back, it was really narrow in places. You're kind of scrambling over some rocks, some zigzags, more some switchbacks. And you're in, I think you're in more of the, the trees and bushes yeah, too. So it definitely. was really enjoyable. Yeah. To do this all over again, I would definitely do the Green Lee Trail. Yeah. And I'd probably bypass the Mesa Trail and just find another way get, getting out. Or even do the Green Lee out and back. back. It, was, it was nice. Now they do have a dog park, I believe two dog parks there actually. Yeah. So if you do bring a dog with you, they have some big dog parks. You let them run free and, mm -hmm. and, and enjoy really themselves. Nice. On the trail though, they are supposed to be um, on, a, on a leash. Yeah. But again, we, we got very fortunate. We picked a great day, beautiful weather, lots of fun. We had some sore feet at the end of the day because I think we did go a little bit longer. See, than we, my we knees were killing me. So if you have some spare time when you're in Colorado Springs, you want to go for a short hike or a long hike, <laughs> try Red Rock Canyons. It was it was a lot of fun. Yes, it definitely was. I'm I'm really glad we did it. Rising sun hits the sky, see it open before us. Take these hopes, hold them high, every step takes you closer.
We hope that you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button. And please watch next week as we show you the second half of our Colorado visit. But again, remember, always live life to the fullest.